Jessica Howell is the Aquatic Nuisance Species Coordinator for the Game and Fish Department. It's her job to prevent ANS from taking hold in North Dakota, so it's understandable she wants to keep very close tabs on the silver carp that were discovered in the James River several years ago. She does know where they came from. So they moved upstream from the Mississippi River up into the Missouri River into the James River um, and then into North Dakota through that route. Today she and her crew are electroshocking the water below the dam in Lemoore. First to see if they can find adult silver carp. We're here today to check out the population and see uh, how far upstream they, they're still currently located and what the population looks like. And then to see if they can find young of the year fish, evidence of a breeding population. We don't believe that they're breeding right now. Uh, they certainly can in the future if they're, they become more abundant. Although they found lots and lots of common carp and some game fish, they did not capture any silver carp, which is good news. But that's not to say the aquatic nuisance species is gone from the James River. We did see some earlier this year when we were electrofishing for some of our native uh, species that we were trying to document. Howell is aware of a breeding population of silver carp in South Dakota, so unless a barrier were put in place to prevent them from moving back into North Dakota, eradicating them from the James is pretty useless. Right now, the only protections in place are laws against moving bait fish out of the James River. We instead don't want people to take bait out of the James River and move it to new locations because small silver carp can be confused with other species. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.